power factor surcharge. Okay, this is how TMB charge consumer who have low power factor. Okay, so let's see this table. If you look at this table, we can see that percent of surcharge from the current bills. Okay, let's say you your power factor lower than 0 0.85, you will be charged 1.5 percent extra charges from your original bills. Okay, if that's mean if lower than 0 0.85 to 0 0.75, 1.5 percent surcharge. If lower than 0 0.75, you will be charged another 3 percent. Okay, for every 0 0.01 units of power. Okay, so surcharge is 1.5 percent of the original amount of uh, charge. This is surcharge extra charge from 0 0.85 till 0 0.75 is 1.5 percent for every 0 0.01 unit of power factor less than 0 0.85 okay so lower than 0 0.75 another surcharge is 3 percent from the total bills for every 0 0.01 less than 0 0.75 power factor so what does it mean if lower than 0 0.85 85 until 0 0.75 surcharge is 1.5 percent if lower than 0 0.75 another three percent okay so we will see later how to calculate these charges okay so okay this statement from the TME the surcharge is calculated based on the following principle for power factor below than 0 0.85 this is for the medium and low voltage consumer 0 0.85 or 0 0.9 this is for high voltage consumer and up to 0 0.75 this is for low or medium voltage consumer this is for high voltage consumer okay so lagging a supplementary charges of 1.5 percent of the bills for the month for each 100 parts or 0 0.01 below 0 0.85 for uh, medium or low voltage 0 0.9 for high voltage consumer and up to 0 0.75 for medium or low voltage consumer or 0 0.8 for high voltage consumer lagging power factor will be added to the bill for this month okay so in this bracket is for high voltage consumer so this for high voltage that's a supplementary surcharge of 1.5 percent okay 0 0.85 until 0 0.75 lower than 0 0.5 we have another surcharge for the power factor below than 0 0.75 for medium and low voltage consumer this is high voltage consumer 0 0.8 lagging in addition to the charge payable under a above the supplementary charges of three percent of the bill for that month of each for each one hundred or zero point zero one below than zero point seven five lagging power factor will be added to the bills of the month. So instead of paying one point five percent, now you have to pay another three percent for the power factor lower than zero point seven five. Okay. So now we see the, the example. This example, a high voltage industrial consumer having the following data from the from its monthly bill, maximum demand, okay, six hundred units, monthly active energy consumption kilowatt hour two hundred sixteen thousand units, monthly reactive consumption kvr hour one hundred ninety thousand units. So the electricity consumption during peak hour is between eight a.m. to 10 p.m. every day the off-peak consumption is at least 30 percent so off-peak consumption 30 percent of the total energy consumption based on the tariff e3 special industrial tariff analyze the monthly load factor of the consumer so basic one monthly load factor how to calculate load factor 
load, load factor equal to average load over the peak load. Okay, so this is tariff of E3 special tariff for each kilowatt of maximum demand per month during the peak period is 29 for each kilowatt. Okay, for all kilowatt during the peak period, for each kilowatt hour for, for peak period is 31.7 cent. For all kilowatt hour during off peak period is 17.5 cent. So we have two tariff here during peak period and off peak period. Okay, this is minimum charges. So question one is the monthly load factor. Calculate monthly load factor. We just calculate first the average load. Average load equal to total connected load. Okay, total connected load is kilowatt hour lah. So if you look at this, this is total power consumption. Okay, two hundred sixteen thousand units. So two hundred sixteen thousand kilowatt hour divide by thirty days times twenty four to get the average load. Now we get this average load thirty hundred kilowatts. Okay. So question number two. So so no question number one monthly load factor. So from the average load we can calculate the load factor equal to average over maximum load. So this average we have just calculated average. So we divide by the maximum load. This is given question. So three hundred over six hundred you will get zero point five load factor. Okay. This is peak load. Maximum load demand. So second question the power factor of the consumer. Assume thirty days per month. Power factor of the consumer. Power factor P F equal to. Okay. You can find P F equal to P over S. So we have P. So now we have to calculate S. We have P. Eh? P is two hundred sixteen kilowatt hour. So now we have to find S kilowatt hour. To find S, we use this equation. S equal to square root of P square times Q square. So we will get this value of S. So to get power factor, we just divide real power kilowatt hour over apparent power kilowatt hour. So we will get zero point seven five. If the next question is, so we just calculate the power factor. Third question is total penalty charges due to a poor power factor, if any, and the total monthly bill charged for this consumer. Okay, how to calculate total penalty charges? So first we have to calculate charges for this consumer. Okay, based on this E three S tariff lah. Okay, so first we calculate maximum demand based on the E three tariff. Every kilowatt hour for maximum demand is RM twenty nine. This one. Okay, every kilowatt hour for maximum demand. The cost per unit is twenty nine RM twenty nine per unit. So we just times RM twenty nine times six hundred. So times six hundred to get this much of maximum demand cost. Okay. So next we have to calculate energy consumption during peak periods. So so during peak period. So, so based on the question. So thirty percent is off peak. So that means another seventy percent is peak period from this um, total energy consumption. So seventy percent from this total energy consumption is equal to seventy percent from total energy consumption. Seventy percent times two hundred sixteen thousand kilowatt hour. So we will get this much of power during peak period. So during off peak period. See this off peak period, thirty percent of the total energy consumption, thirty percent times two hundred sixteen kilowatt hour, we will get this much of power. Okay, so the cost for peak period, so based on this tariff, during peak period, thirty one point seven cent per kilowatt hour. So thirty one point seven cent times total energy consumed during peak hour. So zero point three one seven times one hundred fifty one thousand two hundred kilowatt hour. So we will get this much of a cost for peak period 
for the off peak period off peak period cost is 17.5 during off peak period 17.5 cent per kilowatt hour 17.5 times this much of power during off peak period this much of power so we will get 11,340 ringgit measure so this is uh, energy consumed without the surcharge total monthly charge without the surcharge okay so total energy charge without the surcharge is maximum demand charge plus peak period charge plus off peak period charge so we just add up all together this maximum demand peak hour off peak hour we will get this much of charge total charge okay so question ask total penalty so how much penalty we have to pay so now our power factor is 0 0.75 high voltage so high voltage consumer we have to use lower than 0 0.9 until 0 0.8 1.5% lower than 0.8 power factor another 3% so because of this we have to calculate monthly surcharge monthly surcharge is this total energy consumed total cost for energy consumed without a charge this is surcharge calculation 0 0.9 until 0 0.8 for every 0 0.01 units is 1.5% charges lower than 0 0.8 until 0 0.75 another 0 0.01 sorry uh, this is total monthly electric charge without a surcharge okay. so because of this is high voltage consumer so high voltage industrial consumer so this is the surcharge 0 0.9 lower than 0 0.9 1.5% .9, until 0 0.8 0, 0 0.09 until 0 0.8 is 1.5% lower than 0 0.8 is another 3% based on this statement or based on this principle this surcharge is calculated so based on this electricity charge we can use this uh, total monthly electricity charge to calculate surcharge so this total charge this is surcharge because of the low power factor so 0 0.9 until 0 0.8 for every 0 0.01 units is 1.5 percent of total charge plus another uh, charges because of the power factor is lower than 0 0.8 so that means 0 0.8 until 0 0.75 because now our power factor is 0 0.5 so we calculate just now our power factor is 0 0.75 so 0 0.8 until 0 0.75 for every 0 0.01 unit another three percent charges so we, this is the total surcharge need to pay. We have to pay. This factory have to pay this much, this much of surcharge because of low power factor. Okay. So 0 0.9 until 0 0.8, 1.5%. .5%. Below than 0 0.8 till 0 0.75, another 3%. So this is total surcharge. So the total bill for that month is total charge plus total surcharge or total penalty so we get this much of uh, charges okay. okay the size of capacitor in kvar would raise the pf to be 0 0.9 our pf now is 0 0.75 how to increase to the perfector to be 0 0.9 so we have to calculate capacitor band size we have to calculate capacitor band size so by using the equation this equation speed load we know that 300 kilowatt so this power factor 1 0 0.75 power 
original power factor this is desired power factor we want to increase the desired the power factor to the desired value which is 0 0.9 so we just put in this equation we get this capacitor band size so we can put this size or we can use 200 kvar okay that's the capacitor band size so the next the next question is how many months they need to pay back for power factor improvement if the cost of installing capacitor is rm300 per kvar okay so let's say so we want to calculate the payback period so cost of installed capacitor is rm300 per kvr so we times how many kvr we want let's say this much of uh, money this much of cost so the payback period is capacitor cost over the saving this is capacitor capacitor bank cost this is the cost of surcharge okay so we divide capacitor cost towards the surcharge cost then we will get the payback period so that's mean only in 1.5 month we can get our our uh, payback okay that's all for uh, chapter 5 i hope you enjoy this chapter good luck for your final exam